Recently, Gota Madani rose to the third richest position in the world. What does this guy spend all that money on and who is he, more importantly? Let me tell you about this Adani person. He is the chairman and creator of the so-called Adani Group. It's a big Indian multinational business that is involved in so many activities that three entire videos would be required to cover them all. Welcome to Unleash Billions, the channel dedicated to exploring the lives and strategies of the world's most successful entrepreneurs and business leaders. Join us as we uncover the secrets of the billionaires and learn how you can unleash your own success. Let's get started. All of this has accumulated. He's worth $138 billion, which puts him ahead of Jeff Bezos' $126 billion, Bill Gates' $111 billion, Bernard Arnault's $138 billion, and Elon Musk's $203 billion. However, if things at Twitter worsen dramatically, Musk may be making room in their rotation for a few of these guys. Indian billionaires are less likely to grant full access to their prestigious residences than billionaires in other areas of the world. This is due to the fact that, as you'll see, security is a considerably bigger issue for billionaires in India than it is for the rich and famous in other areas of the world. For instance, we do know that he owns a very pricey mansion in the opulent private area outside of New Delhi called as Legends. This traditional-looking mansion is barely visible to us, but it is obvious that it must be a very expensive residence. Even more modest houses in the area are listed for about $15 million. This location is serious business. His successful effort to buy the Aditya Estates, or as it is now known, the Adani House, has also recently made headlines. It's a large building that rivals Mukesh Ambani's Antilia, a $2.6 billion residence. It was probably bought with the intention of upsetting the Ambani family. To enrage other billionaires, billionaires are willing to spend sums of money equal to the GDP of a small nation. You know, it's just a component of the way of life. For obvious reasons, we haven't been given a full tour of the facility, but we can make some educated assumptions. For instance, this mansion is so big that it's like an office building. Therefore, it definitely needs a whole staff to run everything and maintain the landscaping. This will probably increase the cost of this one by at least a few hundred thousand. After a few years of just living there, the cost to purchase these homes is always approximately what they're worth. According to what we do know, these appears to be a sizable private garden in addition to an open rooftop. He loves to fly about while the rest of us have to walk so I'm sure there's a helicopter pad there as well. The price of the enormous property is 400 crore. That can't be a lot of money, can it? Did he receive a decent bargain? So what? Not quite. After accounting for the exchange rate and the math, you can see that this house is valued $48,977,620, with the crore being a note that is equivalent to around 10 million rupees. Yes, that is a lot more than I anticipated. This house must have a ton of ghastly facilities, such as movie theaters, personal saunas, walk-in closets, and a space specifically designated for trampolines. Adani also has a somewhat modest automobile collection, by billionaire standards at least, which is surprising given that he is one of the world's richest men, simple yet still incredibly elegant. For instance, he has a $339,000 fully loaded Rolls Royce Ghost that provides a lot of luxury and an incredibly smooth ride. His $80,000 BMW 7 Series is another example, and it speaks for itself. You generally know what you're getting when you hear the brand BMW. He is a savvy businessman who is not overly interested in the flashier aspects of life. But who isn't exactly writing without any style either? These are both professional rides that clearly demonstrate this. He does, of course, own one automobile in his collection that bears the exact opposite sign. Owning a Ferrari, especially a Ferrari California, is neither professional nor genuinely frugal. Hot rod red and with a convertible top, this supercar costs $70,000 and has a top speed of 193 miles per hour. He presumably purchased this enjoyable journey while he was feeling very proud of himself. Who wouldn't want this kind of money, really? Hey, not everybody likes cars. It's okay to be that way. 
that might be the case since he no longer drives himself. These types of billionaires almost always rely solely on a driver to get them through the traffic. According to some stories, drivers in India make up to $400 per day, but I would assume that this costs much, much more. You recall that in addition to their driving prowess, they are compensated for their discretion as well. Although they would have to pay a lot, I'm sure many people would be curious to learn the secrets his driver is paid to keep to himself. It's likely that he has installed specialized security features in each of his vehicles as well. It's a reasonable guess that they are all at least bulletproof, which can cost up to $50,000 per vehicle. For someone in his position, the money was wisely spent. He has a variety of flight alternatives available to him in case autos aren't sufficient for getting him above the rest of us. It is essentially anticipated that if you are the third richest man in the world, you have a private plane. Adani has three different private aircraft. Even still, Adani's fleet contains far more than just those. Among billionaires even, this is remarkable. He owns a private Bombardier plane, which is worth up to $75 million. His Beechcraft, which is $800,000, and Hawker, which is worth over $3 million, are also available. All of these aircraft include opulent leather furnishings, first-rate amenities, and rides that are so smooth that you probably won't even notice turbulence during a storm. In other words, on these kinds of trips, your only potential concern is whether or not you'll be detained for your company secrets while you're asleep. Basically, it has to be the most lavish. Adani has apparently decided that a Bombardier, a Beechcraft, and a Hawker aren't enough. So he's gone all out and bought himself three opulent helicopters that he can use in the same manner than the rest of us could use an Uber. These are Augusta Westland AW139 helicopters. Adding them to his fleet cost him about $12 million because helicopters of this grade typically cost around $4 million. So yes, even by the standards of a millionaire, this guy has a very impressive fleet. There are other issues in a country like India that other billionaires with Adani's wealth don't really have to worry about, such as kidnapping attempts for huge ransoms with dreadful repercussions if individuals don't pay. Adani was confronted by this terrible truth. According to legend, an underworld dawn authorized Adani's abduction in 1998. He was kidnapped and held hostage for an unknown period of time. Despite the fact that no ransom was paid formally, Adani was freed. This could suggest one of two things. Either he struck a deal for an unspecified sum of money, or he was secretly linked to Liam Neeson, who played the role of Taken in order to secure his release. Since the late 1990s, this issue has not improved either. Evidently, India reported over 100,000 occurrences of kidnapping in 2021. It's a serious criminal problem that is only becoming worse. Adani, the Indian Prime Minister, and Mukesh Ambani all have a Z-plus security classification, which is reserved for high-profile targets. The typical security arrangements for Z-plus rated individuals include 55 security officers, 10 special national security guards who keep watch over them around the clock, and I'm guessing a few Liam Neesons. It is expected that Godam Adani will continue to attract attention and be mentioned in the media as he expands his business empire and increases his riches. With his journey to become one of the richest individuals in the world, it's likely that in the years to come, we'll hear more about him and his family. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Unleash Billions. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell to stay updated on our latest content. Remember, success is within your reach, so unleash your inner billionaire. Until next time, we'll see you in the next video.